Hi there. Um, today we're reading 23 of Bubble. The last time we saw Joe, he was watching Henry on TV doing his walk around the mall. And then Joe was like, something's wrong. Henry's not feeling right. And Henry collapsed in the mall. And then Joe also wasn't feeling good after his outing with Amir. And um, he presses an emergency button and kind of blacks out. So we're going to kind of pick up today and see how Joe's doing. I hope he's feeling better. I also hope Henry's feeling better, too. Chapter 23. Beep, beep, beep. Room temp, 19. Air purity, 98.1. Heart rate, 113. Beep, beep, beep. I've got airplanes inside my head. They're circling round, stacked high in the sky. Air New Zealand, British Airways, Virgin Atlantic. They go round and round and round and round. Airway New Zealand, British Airways, Virgin Atlantic. There's so many, they make me dizzy. Air New Zealand, British Airways, Virgin Atlantic. Airway New Zealand, British Airways. What's that, mate? Virgin Atlantic. I open my eyes. The lights are dimmed. My room is full of shadows and the screens are as black as the night sky. I take a deep breath and feel a hand on my arm. Greg is beside me. He's dark and fuzzy and merges in with the wall. My eyelids fall down. I hear Greg talking to other people, but I can't hear what they're saying. It's like they're all talking underwater. I try to lift my head, but it aches too much and my body hurts in every place it touches the bed. I force my eyes to open again and try to speak. A sharp pain shoots through the middle of my head when I cough. Greg leans me over and presses a cup against my lips. Try to drink, mate, he says. I take a sip, but my throat is so sore it's like I've got a hedgehog stuck in it. I cough again. Greg raises my bed. I see the shadows of doctors and nurses. It's happened rather suddenly. BP, 100 over 80. Heart rate, 117. Let's try. The room starts to spin. My stomach feels like it's going to come through with my throat. I feel sick. Greg puts his head up, hand on my shoulders. I put, I puke in a bowl. Easy, mate, easy. He wipes my mouth. I look down at my arm. A tube comes out it, across of my bed and into a plastic bag. What happened, I whisper. Not now, mate, just relax. Greg puts a wet cloth on my forehead. It's so cold it freezes my brain. I shiver. Greg pulls my covers up to my chin. His head, My head falls back and the shadows move and talk in front of the windows. Outside, the light in the glass buildings are dull and the sky is turning from black to gray. Another plane flies across the inside of my head. I wish I could go back and see them again, but I don't think I'd want to go back if feeling like this, there's a bug crawling through my body. I don't want any bugs. I hate bugs. I hate bugs. He's very restless. Let's try something to bring his temperature down. I try to increase his fluids, too. I hate bugs. I know, mate. Just take it easy. Greg's back by my, sa by my side. He puts a clean bowl on on my bed. I try to talk, but it comes out as a whisper. What happened? I ask. Greg looks at the doctors and then back at me. We're not sure, mate. One minute you're watching Henry, the next you'd passed out. I turn my head slowly and look at the screens. They're all black and the red standby lights are blurred. I close my eyes and try to remember what I was watching. Henry in the mall, smiling and waving on the escalator. I wait for him to get off, but the escalator goes and goes on and he never reaches the top. It's like I've got a DVD in my head stuck on repeat. I open my eyes and close them again. Henry's jumped ahead. He's outside McDonald's with people all around him, cheering and smiling. Then I see Henry start to fall forward. Henry! Wow, mate, stay still. Greg puts his hand on my arm. But Henry, I swallow my eyes. Or I swallow and screw my eyes as the pain shoots again. Is he okay? Mate, please lay still. Can I check? Can I message him? I try to reach for my laptop, but my head spins again. Another nurse stands by my side and puts her hand on my shoulder. Greg puts his hand on my chest. Mate, this is serious. You are not well enough for that. But... But I need to find out. I really need to know. Greg looks toward me. It's important. I don't think he's going to rest until he knows. I don't hear the reply, but I think I see the shadow shake its head. Greg gets up and walks toward them. They nod and start to whisper. I think I know, but just for... Okay, okay. Just one message, just to check. Okay. He slides my laptop onto the bed and lifts the screen. I try to move the mouse, but the keyboard is all blurry and the letters move up and down like they're floating in the sea. I blink. My head starts to clear, and I check my messages. There's two for my teachers, 11 for Bubble Boy, but nothing on he Skype from hem Henry. I start to type, Henry, I hope you're okay. I wait for the pencil to start scribbling, but it doesn't. Henry, message me when you can. I cough, and a bright light flashes to the middle of my head. I scrunch my eyes. The light flashes again, a million times brighter than headlights. I passed on the road with a mirror. I shout to Greg, all... All that comes out is a croak. The light shines again. I twist in my bed, reach for the pillow, and try to wrap it around my head. Easy, Joe, easy. A hand on my shoulder, a hand on my leg. Hold him, hold him. Another bright light. No, Joe. 
Don't take it off. I tell you not to take it off. Amir standing in front of the car headlights with his hand in the air. Joe, I tell you, no, take it off. I didn't take it off. I don't think I took my helmet off. I bite my teeth against the pain comes again. I'm at the airfield with Amir. Planes are roaring over my head. My helmet is rocking back, backward and forward on the grass. Pick it up, Joe. You put it back on. Amir runs toward me, but it's like he's moving in slow motion. He looks back at the car, then back at me. Bugs and midges buzz around in the headlights. Amir keeps running. Bugs fly around his legs, his body, and his hair. Joe, hurry, they coming. I pick my helmet up and try to put it on. My hands are shaking and my gloves are too thick to fasten the straps. The bugs are all around me, biting at my suit, crawling at my arms and toward my neck. Amir, Amir, Joe, Joe. I open my eyes and back in my room. Greg is standing over and shouting my name. I try to sit up. The bugs, they're everywhere. Don't let them get on me. Don't let the bugs get on me. Joe, there are no bugs. Can't you see the bugs in my rooms? There's millions of them crawling over the monitors, down the IV tube, and into me. They're biting my hands and my neck. They're going to eat me until all they're left is bones. I try to shout, but they're crawling up my neck and into my mouth. Doctors and nurses all around me, bugs buzzing everywhere. They're bouncing off the ceilings and scratching at the floor. Th there are. I scratch the bugs off my body and my head. Okay, okay, let's sedate. More hands on my arms and legs. It's all right, mate. It's okay. My head starts to go dizzy. I feel something cold in my arm, like ice traveling through my veins. I take a deep breath, then another. Fuzzy faces look down at me. There we go. There we go. I feel like Spidey when he fought Morlin. He got smashed against the cars thrown from the highest towers. Then he swung Morlin around in a circle and threw him into the Empire State Building. Spidey's suit was torn and he laid crumpled on the floor. It was the hardest fight Spidey ever had. No one had hit him harder than Morlin. Not even the Hulk. But he kept going every time Morlin knocked him down. He wouldn't give up. As long as his heart was beating, he would keep fighting every moment, and in the end, he found a way to win. I turn my head. Something is scratching under my door. The bugs are coming back again. And that's the end of chapter 23. So it doesn't seem like Joe is feeling so good. Um, I don't know if it's related to him going outside or not. So I hope that we get to see what happens in 24 and that he starts to feel better. And that we hear back from Henry, too, because I know that we're worried about him as well.